Welcome to our video on the chemistry of minerals. In this segment, we will introduce you to the fascinating world of minerals and their chemical properties. Show images of different minerals such as quartz, feldspar and mica. Minerals are naturally occurring substances that are formed through geological processes. They are found in rocks, soil and even in our bodies. Minerals are made up of atoms which are the building blocks of matter. Show an animation of atoms coming together to form a mineral. The atoms in minerals are arranged in a specific pattern which gives each mineral its unique properties. These properties include colour, hardness and lustre. Show examples of minerals with different colours, hardness and lustre. The chemical composition of minerals also plays a crucial role in their properties. Let's take a closer look at the chemistry of minerals. Show an animation of a mineral's chemical composition. Minerals are made up of chemical elements, which are the basic units of matter. There are over 100 different elements, and each element has its own unique properties. Show a periodic table of elements. The most common elements found in minerals are silicon, oxygen, aluminum, iron, calcium, sodium, and potassium. These elements combine to form different minerals, such as quartz, feldspar, and mica. Show examples of minerals and their chemical composition. The chemical composition of minerals can also vary within a single mineral. This is known as a solid solution. For example, the mineral feldspar can contain both sodium and potassium. Show an animation of a solid solution. The chemical composition of minerals can also change over time. This is known as mineral alteration. For example, the mineral pyrite can oxidize and turn into the mineral limonite. Show an animation of mineral alteration. Understanding the chemistry of minerals that is essential for many fields, including geology, chemistry, and material science. In the next segment, we will explore the properties of minerals in more detail. Welcome back to our video on the chemistry of minerals. In this segment, we will explore the properties of minerals in more detail. Show examples of minerals with different properties, such as color, hardness, and luster. As we mentioned earlier, minerals have unique properties that are determined by their chemical composition and atomic structure. Let's take a closer look at some of these properties. Show an animation of a mineral's atomic structure. The color of a mineral is determined by the way it absorbs and reflects light. Some minerals, such as quartz, have a single color, while others, such as tourmaline, can have multiple colors. Show examples of minerals with different colors. The hardness of a mineral is determined by its resistance to scratching. The most scale is a commonly used scale to measure the hardness of minerals, with diamond being the hardest mineral at 10 and talc being the softest at 1. Show the most scale and examples of minerals with different hardness. The luster of a mineral is determined by the way it reflects light. Some minerals, such as quartz, have a glassy luster, while others, such as pyrite, have a metallic luster. Show examples of minerals with different luster. The specific gravity of a mineral is its density compared to the density of water. This property can be used to identify minerals. Show an animation of specific gravity and examples of minerals with different specific gravity. The cleavage of a mineral is the way it breaks along planes of weakness. Some minerals, such as mica, have perfect cleavage, while others, such as quartz, have no cleavage. Show examples of minerals with different cleavage. The fresh of a mineral is the way it breaks when it does not have cleavage. Some minerals, such as quartz, have a conchoidal fracture, while others, such as calcite, have a rhombohedral fracture. Show examples of minerals with different fracture. The properties of minerals are essential for many applications, including mineral identification, genstone cutting, and industrial uses. Understanding the chemistry of minerals and their properties is crucial for these fields. Show examples of minerals being used in different applications. In the next segment, we will explore the formation of minerals and the geological processes that create them.